Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel, Learning and Sharing. Today, I'm going to discuss with you the difference between oceans and the seas. Now, ocean and seas are being known by their water containment because oceans and seas are very gigantic uh, masses of water. But most of us don't know the real meaning or real background of our difference between oceans and seas. This particular topic is highly searched and highly debated and discussed among the students. So now oceans are seas, as I told you earlier, it's a very giant, a big, you know, masses of water, but they have also other importance. Like, you know, if you look at, you know, the look at the climate of the world, the ocean are seas regulate the climate of the earth not only they control and determine, because you look at the earth, look at the oceanic movements, particularly the currents. These currents play an important role in exchange and distribution of the temperature. So one, one aspect importance is the regulation of the climate. The other one is the, you know, look at the carbon dioxide. Most of us know that carbon dioxide is being stored or being accumulated in the atmosphere. But if you look at the oceans, most of the most of the uh, you know carbon dioxide being taken by the oceans more than the which is being good in the in the atmosphere. So, yani ke wo carbon dioxide jo amare atmosphere me jata hai, usse zyada wo oceans me jata hai. Now, oceans also provide us the uh, what is say the oxygen. It's very important for the living organism. So, the oxygen comes from the ocean so aaj hum is video mein difference dekhenge ki difference kya hai ocean aur seas mein which are the oceans and which are the seas where they are being located and how many in the world uh, oceans are being present and how many you know seas are being present sir to uske bare mein aaj aap dekhenge so this video is not going to be very long i am you know making it so short so so if you may you may save your time. So let's go into the details of you know oceans and the seas. So now uh, before going to you know the difference, let's have a, some sort of facts about the oceans and the seas. Now ocean and seas are the vast bodies of water covering around seventy percent of Earth's surface. Now seventy percent, यानि कि ज़मीन का जितनी भी area है उसमें सत्तर फीसद जो है ना वो पानी में आ जाता है ocean में आ जाता है. Ocean seas and bays make up 96.5% of you know global water. So, dunya mein jitna bhi pani hai, usme takriban 97% water has been accumulated in the in the ocean and sea waves. Base oceans supply at least half of world's oxygen. Yani ke if you look at this statistic, half of the oxygen comes from the oceans. Oceans store about 50 times more carbon dice than the atmosphere. So what the, the containment amount of atmosphere, uh, what is the carbon dioxide, which goes in the atmosphere, 50 times more go to the uh, oceans. Oceans also influence the Earth's climate through a constant transfer of heat from equator towards the poles. In other words, it regulates Earth climate. It's very important that our Earth our climate is being regulated by the or influenced by the oceans. Ye a oceans hai jis ki wajah se aap ye jo distribution temperature hai wo usko, usko dekhte hai. Because jo oceanic movements hai, particularly jo meinne pe aapko pehle bada jo currents hai, wo ek jagah se dousri. They move from equator towards the pole and towards the, to, from poles towards the equator. To uski wajah se wo jo temperature wo distribute hota hai. So evaporation, for, from the oceanic surface brings rain too much of the earth's land surface. So if you look at the process of uh, uh, con process of condensation and precipitation, particularly the rainfall, most of the rainfalls being happen because of the presence of oceans. Yani ke oceans mein jo pani mojud hai, wo evaporate hota hai, wo upar chala jata hai, wahan pe fir condensation hoti, fir precipitation, wo pani fir drops ki shakal mein humare zameen ko wapas milta hai, yani yaan kaya sakne rainfall ki shakal. तो पानी का होना सरफेस में बहुत लाजमी है वो जब एवापोरेट होता है तो वो उसके बाद बारिश होती है तो मींस ओशंस आर यू नो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रेसिपिटेशन ओशंस आर इंपॉर्टेंट सोर्स ऑफ फूड पार्टिकुलरली प्रोटीन सो यू माइट हैव नो माइट हैव सीन अबाउट द मैरिन लाइफ यू नो 
uh, you know, the most of the you know, food, you know, this comes from the oceans, particularly the protein. Protein, protein oceans Oceans are highly sought recreation destinations in the world. So when whenever people uh, need some sort of solace, some sort of relaxation, they go towards, they look at towards the oceans and they find you know relaxation. They go there and they entertain themselves. So the oceans are you know a recreational point for the people. So these are some sort of facts now. So I want to see, so look at these are, you know, these are the continent, Europe, Asia, Africa, uh, South America, then we have a uh, ocean, Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, uh, uh, you know, Arctic Ocean. I'll also show you the another, you know, uh, map of the oceans. So what is oceans? So now we are coming to the difference. What is actually the ocean? So oceans are gigantic masses of open water which covers about 70% of the earth yani ke zameen ka jo 70 fisad hamara jo hai isa wo pani mein hai yani pani hai wo aur wo ocean se now oceans are open water so this is open water means there is no land, uh, border line no connection with any other you know so they are being open uh, open water uh, you know so oceans are larger and deeper than the seas if you compare the oceans with the seas they are more larger in terms of size in the size and at the same time they are deeper as compared to the compared to the seas oceans contain salt water because of you know the minerals uh you know and the depth high depths you know they the water of the ocean is salt salted there are five oceans in the world the pacific ocean the atlantic ocean the arctic ocean the indian ocean and the antarctic ocean so due to the largeness and great depth the oceans are inhabitable and based on marine life so you will feel you will see that the, there's more marine life than the people who are being living there so the oceans are inhabitable because of uh, giant uh, you know big uh, you know size and the great depth so so most commonly species are microscope planktons bacteria and shrimps so these are the species especially which are being commonly found in the in the oceans so we have a planktons bacteria shrimps so these are the uh, you know, the oceans of the world. So we have a Pacific Ocean in the West and the East. We have Indian Ocean, we have Southern Asian, we have Atlantic Ocean, and we have a Arctic Ocean. So now we'll see what is the sea. Sea referred to a body of water, which is smaller in size than the ocean. So one parameter is that they are smaller than the oceans. It is where the ocean meets the land and comprise of saline water. So sea is that part of water. Actually, the sea is sea is the same water which is being in the ocean, the part of ocean. Actually, seas are the part of ocean, but when when ocean creep towards the land area, when the land area ki taraf aata hai, to wo sea mein convert hota hai. Now sea, sea is being partially are you know almost being uh, what is say comprised are being covered by the land area so it is where the ocean meets the land and comprise of saline water so what is being said when when the oceanic water comes closer to the land area it convert on the sea so sea ya to uski yani partially is being covered by the land area almost covered by the land area to wo uska koi na koi hissa zameen ke sath lagta hai to hum usko ocean kehte hain however so sea is that part of ocean that is partially surrounded by the land however there is cases where the sea is completely landlocked for example the caspian sea ab ek misal aisi bhi hai when the sea is being completely being surrounded by the land area and that example is the caspian sea to yahan pe kya hai ki wo jo sea hai wo mukammal zameen covered so there are so there are about seven major seas there are seven major seas marine life in seas is so robust because of its closeness to the land and lesser depth than the ocean so if you compare the marine life in the oceans and the seas 
ocean and the seas, the marine life is more robust, more advanced, more uh, having a you know robust growth in the in the seas because seas closer to land area and they have a less depth. So, यहाँ पे सूरज की रोशनी भी और ऑक्सीजन वो वो आसानी के साथ मिलती है जिस वजह से यहाँ पे मेरीन जो लाइफ है वो ज्यादा है इस कंपेयर टू ओशन सो इट इज कंसीडर परफेक्ट हैबिटेट फॉर मेरीन लाइफ फर्दर द सीज टेम्परेचर एंड लोकेशन डिटरमाइन द मेरीन लाइफ विच इनहेबिट द पर्टिकुलर सीज सो वट एवर द स्पेशज वी हैव द स्पेशज पर्टिकुलर वी आर बीन फाइनिंग इट डिटरमाइन बाय द लोकेशन एंड द टेम्परेचर तो जहां पे वो सी मौजूद है उसकी लोकेशन और उसका टेम्परेचर वो तय करता है कि यहाँ पे कौन से स्पेशीज पाए जाएंगे सो नाउ यू कैन सी द मेप ऑफ कॉन्टिनेंट इन दी सो वी हैव बैरिंग सी वी हैव ईस्ट साइबेरियन सी लेफ्ट सी सो वी हैव येलो सी सी ऑफ जापान फिलिपीन सी सेलिबिस सी यू नो सो सी कोरल सी तस्मानिया सी सो वी हैव and the man see so lots of seas you know yeah so they are so closer to the land area so gulf of alaska we have a bering sea now in both both uh, you know side so we have another another you know map of the sea so these are the you know the most popular or you can see the larger seas of the world so, so we have a south china sea south china sea we have a caribbean sea and we have a mediterranean sea so you can see the mediterranean sea also you have a bering sea we have a gulf of mexico we have sea of so there are different this is the mediterranean sea number 9 is the hudson bay number 7 is the you know the sea of oktok and so there are lots of seas you can easily see here so these are the oceans these are the oceans of the world and these are the seas of the world so you can see these are the seas Uh, now we'll come to the comparison uh, now we'll summarize the you know the topic here now the oceans water body is covering two thirds of the surface of earth so if somebody asks you how much the water has been contained by the ocean it contains two third of surface of the earth now see bodies of salt water this surrounds its land mass so it has been surrounding that land mass larger water bodies oceans are large water bodies completely the seas are smaller in size the oceans have a saltish water and the seas have a saline water so if you go to more towards the depth the water becomes so salty now oceans are very very deep and comparatively seas are less deep now oceans are not enclosed by land while seas are enclosed by land yani ki seas ke ya to koi na koi uska hissa jo hai zameen ke sath lagta hai ya charon taraf se zameen hoti hai while there's no you know any clue of land connecting to the oceans that's why alage you know if you look at uh, you know the water is being so connected of the oceans there's no border but still we have given them the names for the identification yani ki jo hamare jo oceans hain वो उनको नाम दिया गया है फॉर द आइडेंटिफिकेशन ताकि हम उसको पहचान सके हालांकि वो पानी एक ही है और वो कनेक्टेड है मैरीन लाइफ इज रेयर है वाइल द मैरीन लाइफ इज सो अबंडेंट सो रूबस्ट है इन द सी पैसिफिक ओशियन एटलांटिक ओशियन इंडियन ओशियन समल्स ऑफ द ओशियन वाइल सी लाइक वी हैव मेडिटेरियन सी वी हैव कैरेबियन सी एंड वी हैव साउथ चाइना सी so it was all about the difference between ocean and sea if you uh, like my videos please you know share it and also subscribe the channel and share it with your friends so you will get my you know new videos very quickly so till then take care of yourself see you very soon